Yo, what's up guys, AFC Udino here, and welcome to a new video. We're going to be playing round 6, the quarterfinal of the Pokemon June, Pokemon Break Branch June tournament. There's 400 US dollars on the line, guys, <laughs> for the first place initially, but this is going to be the quarterfinal of bracket 4. At the end of this, the winners of each bracket will face each other. And I'm versus Kenlo CR7. I just messaged him with Messi. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna pause the video till we hop into the battle. Okay, it seems like he accepted my battle request. So let's go. That face is so funny. <laughs> Okay, so looking at his team, it looks like he's playing rain. Um, I Luckily, I do have a hip powder to remove the rain. But if I would look at his team, he has no dark pill switching. Which could be really good for me. I'm uh, just spamming that move. Uh, that's why I would like to hit this, lead this game off with the Hydreigon. Because uh, if he leads off with Jolteon, Jolteon cannot kill me from Phil. And then I get a big dark pills. And if he leads off with Pelipper, I can get, get a big Dark Pulse regardless. And against Lopini, I actually have two switch hints. So yeah, I'm going to hit that ready button and we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't out with that phase. He actually does lead off with the Lopini. Um, so I, I'm just going to swap it out here. And I think Toxapex is really safe here. Um, I could... Could have gone Hippowden as well um, to maybe get up rocks. Uh, but just in case he clicks High Jump Kick immediately, I don't have to click Recover. Because uh, if, if I switch in Hippowden, I will have to click Recover. However, if he attacks me with Lopini, I can just click Toxic Spikes. And basically not lose a turn there um, on his fake outplay. Okay, beautiful. He also, he also takes Rocky Helmet damage, so that's really nice. Yeah, I think I'm really free to get off of Toxic Spikes. I can see something like a Ferrothorn or maybe Pelipper coming in to summon the rain. But the Toxic Spikes are definitely going to help me um, to deal with the Barrascuda, Jolteon, and yeah, Volcanion if it's not on boots. But yeah, it does bring in, bring in the Ferrothorn. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth it to go for the Scald. Or do I maybe want to go for an extra layer? Maybe going for an extra layer might actually be good. Uh, getting the badly poison on Volcanion. Because Volcanion is the biggest thing I want to beat. Because that's going to open up my Scizor. And that's going to open up my um, my Clefable as well. He does knock me off, which is, is unfortunate. Um, but I'm going to go directly into Clefable. Um, if he double knocks off, it's going to be a bit annoying. But he might just go for his Spikes or Stealth Rock. Exactly. And from this position, I am just going to throw off a Flamethrower. Uh, just in case he wants to stay in because if even if the Pelipper comes in I can just hit it with the Moonblast on the following turn and if he goes into Vulcanian I have the Toxic Spike right there uh, he does bring in the Pelipper though so my Flamethrower is not going to do that much in the rain of course um, but it still does a decent amount and from this position I am just going to throw off the Moonblast he might not expect me to be fast on this one so if I can hit it it's going to do a lot of damage and yeah, there's basically nothing he can do to retaliate. Okay, I do get it up, which is amazing. And almost going down, he clicks Hurricane onto me. Don't come. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, this is a bit of an annoying position because it would have been really easy if it didn't confuse me. Um, Moon Blasting would give me, if I can get it off a lot. I would have definitely clicked Moon Blast here if I didn't got confused. But I think an alternative play would be to go into Hydreigon. Because I don't think he's going to risk any of his offensive mods here. So he's either going to go for the Confusion and hope that uh, stay in. Or he's going to go for, into Ferrothorn. Let's see it. Okay, perfect. We know he has knockoff. I don't die to Gyro Ball. So I'm just going to hit him with Specs Dark Pills. Uh, this Ferrothorn also doesn't have a leftover, so this might be Rocky Helmet, fully physical defensive. So this Dark Pulse should do a lot, and he has no switch in, guys. Goes into Fulganian. Let's see. No boots, so he's going to be poisoned. And I get off my Dark Pulse. Is that... I think that's a Salt Fest. I think that's a Salt Fest, because I don't see leftovers. So I don't think it's Spadef. But with the poison, that should be a two-hit KO. So I'm clicking it again. And he does stay in. Meaning that 
Now my Clefable, when it, whenever it comes in, drops Moonblast left and right. Scizor now going to be extremely good. And he decides to get in the Lopany, uh, which is fine. I have two Pokemon I can easily take it on. But I'm going to bring in my Hippowden first, just to remove the rain and force the Pelipper to come in. So let's see what he's going to do here. He decides to go for... for oh, that's interesting, but it, it's not a 2 it KO. And I can basically get up my slack off here um i could go for rocks but considering he still has a jolteon in the back i want to keep this at full hp so that i don't die to hidden power rise and by slacking off i can also switch my hippowden in on the lopini later on but yeah it does bring in the pelipper and in this position i feel like i have to make a bit of an offensive player because i could go into toxapex but i also don't want him roosting for free because if i go toxapex and he clicks roost that's gonna suck but if i go cliff fable um if he clicks roost i get a, a big hit on his team because it's rocky helmet ferrothorn if he clicks u-turn it's gonna stay low and we already saw that cliff fable will take the hurricane so basically if he clicks Roost, I get a big play, and if he doesn't click Roost, this stays is low, and I can capitalize on with Clefable. The worst thing that could happen is probably him U-turning into Barracuda or something, but I still have a Dux Specs in the back, so I'm not too worried there. Uh, basically, all his offensive Pokemon are checked, aside from the aside from the, the Jolteon. That's gonna um, Jolteon is going to take a prediction of me, but yeah, I will. Just make this play and he does go for the roost meaning that now i can get off a big hit he already knows i have flamethrower um, i am tempted to click it here but i think moon blasting is gonna be good regardless i can even follow up on with flamethrower on the ferrothorn if it comes in but i think moon blast just because ferrothorn doesn't have leftover leftovers he's not gonna gain any recovery and he decides to stay in maybe thinking that i would go for flamethrower which is amazing because now pelipper is basically dead and yeah, no rain to be summoned anymore. Barracuda does end up coming in there, and I have an easy counter in my Toxapex. Especially with him already being poisoned. So we're just going to bring him in. The two layers of Toxic Spikes doing their work for us. Let's see. He does go for the flip turn, which might be banded, actually. I know it's in the rain, but I am a water type talk specs <laughs> so uh yeah, he does flip turn and he's gonna go into his jolteon which is gonna get badly poisoned so he's not heavy duty boots on this and right here it's a bit of an interesting position if i had baneful bunker i would have used it here but i kind of don't want to go hip out and directly because he should expect me to bring in the hippo just because it removes the rain and it blocks an electric attack so I feel like in his position, he might try to predict my Hippowden. Uh, but looking at this game, I don't think my Mandibus is going to be that great. Because Lopunny is already walled by Pex and Hippowden. And the Barracuda is already walled. And I already killed Clefab um, I kill Ferrothorn with my Clefable and Hydreigon. So I a Mandibus is not going to help me in those situations. So I think going Mandibus. Because if, if Jolteon makes a prediction right here. Any other attack than an electric attack, Manibus will eat up, and I get to see if he's life orb, uh, if he specs. So we're gonna bring in the Manibus just because it has less value than the Hippowden. And he does click the Shadow Ball. Let's see how much that does. Doesn't do anything, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call it just to be sure, because if that specs, I can U-turn right here pretty freely, and yeah, I. Shadow, spec shadow ball does a maximum of 12% and he just did 12% to me so he, he did get a high roll on, on the shadow ball but that's definitely specs so from this position i can just hit that u-turn get the momentum on whatever play he makes and the more damage i get on jolteon the easier it's going to be to kill him with bullet punch later so he's going to u-turn there and he does bring in the pharaoh thorn which is fine and right here there are a bunch of things i can do but I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna remove the rain first. That way I don't have to play around thunders. But uh, it's also going to make the fire moves from my Clefable stronger. Because in case this Ferrothorn has Gyro Ball, 
uh, that might kill my Clefable, considering it's not a bold Clefable. So I want to be able to hit it with a strong flamethrower. And right here, I, he could lead cheat, he could knock me off, trying to get rid of my helmet on this. Um, I'm just going to bring in my Scizor, because Ferrothorn should not be able to do anything to Scizor. He does go for the lead sheet, and what I'll do is just go for the... Um, I'm just going to go for the sword stance, because I know he has a lead sheet on me, but... I don't think he wants to switch anything on a potential U-turn here. Maybe, maybe a potential close combat, so... I'm just going to Mega Evolve, go for the sword stance, and it looks like he is staying in for sus meaning that we're going to be really strong in this position. And yeah, this is going to be scary for him, Mega Scissor. This is why it was so important getting rid of the Volcarona, uh, Volcanian, because now Scissor can just start setting up against him. And we are running a really bulky Scissor, so nothing can really one-shot us. I will Roost here because he does have Rocky Helmet and he has, he has a Leech Sheet on me. So I don't want to make the mistake of attacking him here. I'm going to Roost here. And he just clicks knockoff, which does absolutely zero. However, in this position, he must be afraid of me sword dancing up more. So I'm actually going to go for the knockoff here, just in case he switches. If he stays in, that's fine too. I get rid of his rocky helmet. But if he switches out, something will die. Exactly. So he, I think he was anticipating me to sword dance again and try to make an offensive uh, play here. But yeah, he's going to pay for it with his Jolteon. And because something died on that turn, I don't take lead sheet damage, which is really nice. And he decides to bring in low penny. Um, I know I can easily live a fake out, but I am lead sheeted. And I also don't want to bullet punch into a Ferrothorn switch. So I'm actually going to make the Hippowden player. And whatever he does, if he touches me, he's going to take Rocky Helmet, Poison, Sandstorm. He actually misses high jump kick, which sucks for him, but... I'm a freaking Hippowden that would not do it kill me. And I would have just slacked off on the next turn anyway. But yeah, Lopony is gone. And yeah, slowly his team is getting whittled down. He decides to bring in the Barracuda. But he, him only having two Pokemon alive and Barracuda being completely walled by my Tox Specs means it's basically GG. Because there's just nothing he can do in this position. He decides to click Liquidation, does absolutely zero. He's going to take Sandstorm plus poison damage which is not good for him and i am just going for the slack off here or for the recover doesn't really matter what he does he decides to forfeit the game and we win so pretty pretty nice victory for us um he was like 2500 rating so he had to know what he was doing a bit but yeah um in the end we still won uh he might have tried to counter team me because if I played the team from the previous round, I would have had a hard time with that team. Considering my special wall was Garganacle <laughs> and he was playing a rain team. Uh, and I had a split that uh, Gliscor as well. So that would have been a tough matchup if I played the other team. But yeah, this one was really strong against him. And yeah getting up the Toxic Spikes, getting rid of Volcanion, and then just wreaking havoc with my Clefable and Hydreigon. Always scary for him to switch into because he had no Dark Resist. But yeah, guys, we are in round... We won round six, so that means we are in the semifinals. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord. Peace out, guys.